What's up guys, Huawei is on fire. Despite being blacklisted from US, Huawei is performing really well in their smartphone business. Their Mate 30 Pro was one of the greatest phones but because of the lack of Google services, they are not able to sell it to other markets. But that doesn't stop Huawei to releasing new breakthrough devices. Huawei is all set to launch the world's first commercial phone with an in-display camera. Yes, the camera will be hidden underneath the actual display play similar to what Oppo and Xiaomi showcased few months ago. But that was just a concept phone, Xiaomi and Oppo both showcased this in videos, whereas in Huawei's case it will be on a commercial level. According to Jeb Zhu, the vice president of advanced technologies, principal analyst and technology futurist at Athron Research tweeted out saying that Huawei will announce an all-screen smartphone with an in-display camera and fingerprint scanner on 17th of October in Paris. Paris, France. And not only that, Huawei is also expected to launch the Honor V30 smartphone soon with a punch hole OLED display similar to Western family, which was exclusive to Samsung, but now seems like Chinese manufacturer also developed this punch hole OLED display tag. That's why the OnePlus 8, Honor V30 Pro, and Redmi K30 will have a punch hole OLED display, which also means upcoming Huawei P40 family would also feature a punch hole OLED display. And also, currently the in-display camera tag is still on its early stages so it's interesting to see they will actually sell it to public at least in China or just showcase at an event because if it will actually be a commercial device then still they won't be able to sell it to other markets because of the lack of Google services. And speaking of the US versus Huawei, as the US-China trade talks resume, Huawei reportedly has a ray of hope. According to the latest report, the Trump administration is ready to approve some license that allow US companies to sell goods and services to Huawei. We don't at this point, will Google be also in that list to do business with Huawei? So definitely we have to wait for that. But all in all, this is actually good news for both Huawei and US. Also as we know, Huawei just released its Mate 30 family and we still haven't heard any news or release about the Huawei P40 Pro. But Huawei is already start working on the successor of current 990, the current 1000. According to Huawei Central, Huawei is already working on next year's current 1000 for next year's Mate 40 lineup. The current 1000 will be manufactured by TSMC using its 5 nanometer process node. The process numbers are related to the number of transistors that can be found inside an integrated circuit. The lower the process figure, the higher the number of transistors inside the chip. The more transistors inside, the more powerful and energy efficient these components are. Next year, both TSMC and Samsung start mass producing 5 nanometer process chips and by 2022 or 23, we will see 3 nanometer process chips. The reason why Huawei already start working on next year's screen chip is because the UK based ARM holdings supposedly cut all ties with Huawei due to the US ban because ARM uses some American technology for its chip designs. Huawei and ARM still work together because of a licensing agreement signed before the ban went into effect. We don't at this point, ARM will be on that list to do business with Huawei. That's why Huawei is already in works for next year's current 1000. So yeah, that's all about Huawei in this video. Let me know what you think about these all things I discuss in this video. And make sure to like and subscribe to support this channel and to keep updated with what happened on 17th of October. And yeah, see you soon.